Are you overwhelmed by how expensive it can be to put together your emergency supplies? Is the gear price tag? getting you down. Well, today I'm taking you to the Dollar Tree and I'm going to be showing you some different supplies that you can buy for super cheap that can help you build your emergency supply kit as well as your food storage. Let's go. Okay, I found the first thing that we might want to get, which is glow sticks. These are great for like go bags and other emergency kits. So I'm going to grab some of these. There are lots of people in here, so I don't know how much filming I'm going to do, but I'll take you along for as much as I can. Okay, every kit is going to need some kind of wash. So whether or not you're building a kit or you're building your stockpile for $1.25, getting a couple of these are not bad. My boys will use this, so I'm going to stock up and get some. So the baby care aisle actually has several things that would be good to have in an emergency kit. Having baby wipes as a form of toiletries. Um, petroleum jelly is a great fire starter as well as like a lotion, uh, lubricant. And then any of these are really helpful for cleaning up spills are very absorbent and they're cheap. Um, this can be really good if you are gonna be doing a lot of work in a humid environment. You never know where you're gonna get rashes, that kind of a thing. So uh, a lot of useful stuff in an unlikely area if you don't have kids. I think bar soap is super underrated as far as what is useful. Not only can you wash your body, you could actually wash clothes if you needed to and even dishes if you have a good towel with a bar of soap. Is it ideal? No, but I love bar soap for that reason. So I would definitely pick some up for a emergency kit. If you are building your prepper pantry, $1.25 for a lot of these is cheaper than the grocery store. Well, it might be a little bit less in ounceage, but if you've got a tight budget up front, this is a great place to get started. Now the price is actually more expensive per pound to buy rice and beans here. However, if you have a small space or a really tight budget, buying these smaller amounts slowly over time means that you can repackage them more easily and use them. So don't be afraid to stock up. Don't forget that you need some comfort items and some sweet treats. Fruit like this, treats like this, as long as they have a year long shelf life, which some of them do. And then sweeties like these fruit snacks are all great things to have in a box of dedicated food storage or even in a go bag. Don't forget to look down. Here we have shelf stable milk options for your long term pantry and different kinds of oatmeal um, under some sweet cereals. These could be in your storage as a sweet treat, but they don't have a great shelf life. They can go stale, but definitely look at all your shelves. On the other side of some boxes, I actually found real milk shelf stable real milk i'm going to pick up some of this for my pantry just be sure to look at the use by date this is only going to be good until 2024 i could probably get a couple more months beyond that but just keep that in mind when you're doing your planning all right the dollars tree comes in clutch when it comes to spices spices have gotten really expensive at my local grocery store including at walmart but variety is a spice of life so make sure you have a couple things you know like a mixed seasoning this is a garlic pepper seasoning. There's this Cajun style seasoning. This is a super big garlic and pepper seasoning. These spices, if stored correctly, have a really long shelf life as far as flavor and can be stored with your uh, emergency food storage to make sure that even if everything else um, is used up, you have a way to season your food. Now Dollar Tree has paper products, but honestly, you're going to get more bang for your buck at a place like Walmart, or if you have a Costco membership, a Costco. So I wouldn't spend my money here on that. Birthday candles are great. They can prolong your fire starting. Super cheap for a lot of options. All right, these are Prepper's best friend. These are already cooked and you can microwave them if you have the electricity, you could boil them or y'all, you can eat them. All you're doing is heating them up. They're already cooked. 
So getting a couple of these means you don't have to worry about cooking all of your rice, especially if your water or your fuel is limited. These are so useful, especially if you're just starting out. So grab yourself some of these. And at $1.25, they are cheaper than almost any other grocery store I've been to. Whew. All right, friends, I am done with my shopping trip and now I'm gonna take you home where you can see everything that I just purchased. By the way, if you are new, hi. My name is Brecky, and this is Sustainable Prepping, where I am teaching empowerment through preparedness. You don't have to spend a lot of money to get prepared for emergencies, so let's go see what I All got. All right, friends, we are back at the house, and this is the haul. This whole haul was about $45. Now, I did get a few things that you don't see here, including some toys, well, art things for my kids, but this is what I got for today. Okay, we are gonna start over here, because this is stuff that you might wanna put in a go bag, a car kit, a medical kit, an emergency box, and all of this was $1.25 at your Dollar Tree. A nice pack of reusable gloves, and I have a big box of nitro gloves, but these are thicker. So if you are handling any kind of waste, and nice to have a set of those that can live in your kit. I got more antibiotic cream. This is a off-brand Neosporin. I also got sort of the, whoop, house brand of Benadryl. Then I got a big box of band-aids. These are a 60 count. Now these are not the best band-aids ever, but they will do in a pinch and you can always use medical tape to tape the band-aid in place if need be. I got a spray of hydrogen peroxide. I love these spray bottles. I got a, a pack of these wider, look at how wide that band-aid is, uh, transparent. There are only six of these, but let's see how big that is. It's a nice big band-aid that you can again tape in place as needed. Then we have anti-diarrheal. Y'all, every med kit, every car kit should have these. If you get some bad water, if you eat some funky food, if you're stressed and your tummy's upset, you are definitely gonna wanna have these on hand. I also got some more petroleum jelly, right? This good old Vaseline. Um, I don't use it for my mouth. I do not use it on my lips. I use these for fire starting. I use these in other kind of projects, but this is cheap and it lasts just about forever as long as you keep it clean. And we were just about out and I gotta make some new fire starting kits. So got some petroleum jelly. Um, let me see here. I've got some liquid skin. This stuff is fantastic. I have this in all of my med kits. I have this in all of my first aid kits and I want to add some to a new go bag that I am putting together. And I'm going to use a lot of this as I put together one more go bag, some extra toothbrushes. Again, these will likely end up in a go bag. Um, I have several tubes of toothpaste, but you can get toothpaste at the Dollar Tree. All right. And they are a little bit smaller, which is why they're at only $1.25, which can be useful. I decided to go with these Tylenol. Now they have bottles that had 40 pills, which is a better bang for your buck. However, these come in these little packs. Let me show you. All right, so one of the things, reasons I got these is that they come in these little packs. And these little packs are nice because they're waterproof. So having some of these in my car, having some of these in a car kit, having some of these in my everyday carry, which I will use, um, these are just better than sticking them in a Ziploc. So I got these for that reason. Moving on, I did decide to get some uh, soap. We still have quite a bit. However, like I said, in the store, um, soap is really great because you can use soap not just to wash all of your body and even your hair if you must. Um, you can also wash your clothes with some soap. You scrub your actual fabric and then wash the rest by hand. You can also scrub a dishcloth and then wash your dishes with a bar of soap. So a bar of soap is very versatile. Um, so I got a three pack of soap. I got some ana analgesic gel. Um, this is for your mouth in case you have a toothache or you have someone with gum stuff, you know, teeth coming in, things like that. You never know. And having this in your traveling first aid kit means that if someone has a toothache, um, which can just absolutely derail you, this can at least help them limp along. So if you don't have your dental kit with you, if this is in a go bag, if this is in your car kit, uh, it's nice to have something for your oral health in there more than just toothpaste and toothbrushes. Moving along, we've got these Brillo pads. These are just a dish Brillo pad. Um, I'm going to cut these in half. So this will end up being four for me. There's two in here. I don't love using these. I want to eventually get it to something biodegradable, but those are so pricey. And the last time I did that, they lasted a fraction of the time. No matter what I did, they just went gross so fast. So right now I'm using these and they last a while. 
Uh, these are great. I've got cast iron and I've got some cast iron, unfortunately, that got a bit rusty in our move. So I have one pack. I'm adding to this pack. These are just super, super good. I need to get some steel wool um, as well, but these are great to have in your kit for heavy duty cleaning. And then you saw me with these Mastor. These are glow sticks. I'm gonna put these packs in go bags. Um, I have a pack for my kids to play with, but this is just easy light. You can use them uh, when you are out camping. If you have to rough it uh, to kind of show where camp is, to mark a trail, um, you can use them if your lights go out. They're not super bright, but they can give off a little bit of light. I got some super glue. Our super glue dried out, so I'm going to have one that goes in our current working junk drawer, you know, everything drawer, and one is going to go in our disaster kit. Then I'm going to do zip ties. Um, Dave Canterbury and Andrew of the Ranger Survival School both love these things and they really are handy if you don't have a ton of rope. I used to have a big old bucket of these and we used them across the last several years and I have mislaid the rest of the ones I had since the move. In fact, there's a couple boxes of tools we just can't seem to find. So I needed to replace these. Now I've got them. Some will go in the go bag, some will go in the disaster kit and the rest will go in my shed. Same with this rope. We didn't have a lot of cordage. Um, I have some paracord bracelets and I want to make sure I just had some plain cordage. Is this the best in the market? Absolutely not. Is it some cordage to have? Yes. So we now have cordage that is going to go primarily in go bags just to have on hand. So birthday candles, they might be a surprising addition, but birthday candles can extend the life of your flame. So if you have a lighter and you need to light quite a few things or you are having a hard time lighting your uh, kindling, Lighting a birthday candle and then getting it going means you can basically burn down this birthday candle instead of keeping your butane lighter going or going through matches. I mean, look at all that. There's 18 of these, 18 of these for a dollar. And so that's 18 fires you can light and you have all that space down to where your fingers hold on to it to get something lit. So these are very useful. Put them in your go bags. If you have a fire kit in your everyday carry, put a couple of these in your everyday carry fire kit. All right, so all of this stuff is primarily for building my fifth go bag slash evacuation kit. This is gonna help round out what I already have and give you some ideas for what you can be putting in your own go bag evacuation or storm kit, okay? So I wanna turn over here and instead of doing a separate video, I'm gonna show you a mini haul of how I am doing pantry preparedness by stocking up my pantry. They had some great prices on things that uh, would be a little bit more costly at the grocery store. So I did go ahead and buy some things. Starting right here, I got a couple of cans of fruit. I got one can of peaches in natural juice. We do not like them in syrup. We only like them in natural juice. This was the only can they had. Otherwise, I would have bought 10 of these. For $1.25, it is always at least $1.50 up to $2 per one of these cans, not one of the big cans, when I go to the grocery store, even Walmart, which is my cheapest grocery store around here, even cheaper than Aldi on some of these things. So I got the one can they had, and then I got two cans of pear slices and light syrup. We prefer pears and juice, but light syrup isn't as bad for pears in our opinion. So I got a couple of cans just to keep building my pantry, okay? Just to keep building out my pantry. Then I showed you these. These are both whole milk. And these have a close to an eight month ish shelf life for me, not quite a year. And that is going to serve me well. If I don't drink them, I can cook with them or use them in my coffee later. But now I have about half a gallon's worth of whole milk just sitting on my shelf. I may go back and buy two to four more of these in the next couple weeks, but I wanted to just get two for now. We don't drink a ton of milk but we do like to let the kids have some milk with dinner and then of course with Cheerios and in coffee. So have a little bit of milk for the pantry. Then I got this three in one Ultra Max Advanced Body Wash. This is for my boys. Uh, my boys don't use bar soap, <laughs> they won't use it. So this is hair wash and body wash all in one. Teenage boys, if you know, you know. So uh, Arm & Hammer, we need all that like smell <laughs> canceling help that we can get. I got two of those, one for now and one for later. And then this was awesome. I would have bought more if they'd had them. This is organic Pacific Foods butternut squash soup, $1.25, y'all. This is four bucks at my local Walmart. 
$4. I was able to get it for $1.25. So two for the price of half, basically. <laughs> um, if they'd had more, I would have bought more. We like this. We've had it before. We enjoy it. In fact, I was running out of these sorts of soups. I only have a couple on the shelf. Now I'm replenishing, building that pantry. These are just assorted plastic cutlery. I don't love having plastic cutlery, but if there's a grid down situation, I'm not gonna wanna wash all the dishes. So I'm just gonna stick this away with my freeze dried food for that uh, grid down day if I need it. Finally, rice. I even think if I go back to get more milk, I might get more rice. $1.25 for these is awesome. These are normally $2.25 or more per pouch at my local grocery store. Them, they are gonna help you get prepared fast. And friends, with that rice, that is my pantry restock haul, my building a go kit haul, and everything I got at the Dollar Tree for 45 bucks. Friends, comment down below and let me know if you have any specialty items you love to grab from the Dollar Tree. I'm happy to go back and look for some more. I am always looking to add the right things to my kits. You don't have to spend a lot of money. In fact, you could have only spent $20 and gotten some really great things to help work on building that emergency kit, that go bag, that pantry storage. You're not gonna do everything overnight, but little by little, you are going to have everything that can help you not just survive, but thrive in the midst of a crisis. Remember, everything that I'm doing here is to help you feel empowered and stay calm and confident in a crisis because we need you to help lead when times are tough. I hope you guys are all doing super well. If you want to continue your preparedness journey, I have a video for you right here. And until the next video, y'all, happy prepping.